Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. In a recent file that uh, I uploaded to YouTube, uh, a checklist for domestic and international flyers, I used the merge and center command to create this heading. I'm going to show you another uh, possibility that you might find to improve the look of your spreadsheets where headings are concerned uh, involving the use of graphics and it works like this. First of all I'm going to select that particular uh, heading and I'm going to clear everything, clear all and I'm back to where I started, uh, no merge cells etc. And what I'm going to do is to insert a shape and the shape I'll choose will be the rectangle and the procedure is to hold down the ALT key on the keyboard start in the top left hand corner of the selected cell and simply drag across with your mouse to draw a rectangle then you can type in the, uh, in, in the shape directly we'll just say checklist for domestic and international travellers oops, travellers ah, not the best speller in the world travellers and then if I select that text within by dragging through it uh, I'll go to the home tab I'll make it uh, a bit bigger we'll make it uh, size 16 uh, while I'm there I'll bold it I might even want to italicise it I'll make the text red but what I can do is to uh, format the shape and I see that when, I'm, when I've clicked in the shape the little selection handles appear here down the uh, at, at the ends and I can resize the shape by dragging on the corner handles the beauty about it is that with that shape selected I can then go to the format tab here and I can change the shape fill to uh, perhaps a gradient so I'll change it to uh, uh, that particular type of gradient you'll see the blue has changed um, I can also uh, change the shape outline I might make the outline red uh, that, that type of thing I can also hover my mouse over the, uh, the shape styles to see if there's something else that I like more uh, that black one didn't look too bad to me so I'll click on there if I'm not happy with the ones that are shown here I can click the drop arrow and there are rather more shapes there and you'll notice uh, some of the bottom most shapes here have beveled edges uh, so if you like a beveled edge uh, like uh, uh, perhaps like that or that or that etc. So I'll change to that particular beveled edge there. When I click away uh, there I have a, a very nice uh, appearance for my heading. Uh, the beauty about it guys is that I can uh, click on the and drag it and drop it wherever I need to do. Uh, it's much more versatile than the uh, good old merge and center uh, command. So I um, hope you find that handy uh, it certainly creates a nice professional look to the file and uh, don't forget to subscribe there'll be lots more tips and tricks like this uh, like and comment if you wish uh, and we would love to have you as a subscriber if you are not already thank you so much for watching